In workshop three, we're going to look at importing an XP RAS model into ICM. Firstly, we're going to export our model out of XP RAS. Then using the new ICM XP RAS importer, we're going to bring that model into our workspace. From there, we're going to validate the network. And then we're gonna look at closing out any of the errors by adding some objects towards the outlet of our new model. And lastly, we're going to look at customizing the object property window. To begin exporting out of XP RAS, we have our model open in the window, and then we're going to go to File, Export Data, and then we want to make sure we have selected all the objects, all the variables, and then Save, and then Export. Now we're ready to bring it into ICM. Now we're going to use the XPRAS importer to import our XPRAS network into ICM. So with our industrial development network still open in the GeoPlan, we're going to go to network, import, model, and from XPRAS XPX file. We're going to choose our development one XPX file that we just exported and select open. In the import XPRAS window, we're going to keep the unit size small and we're going to keep on maintain network connectivity by converting downstream lag links to channel. Press OK. We're going to close the message log and now we can see our XP RAS model imported into ICM. Our next step is going to import the global storms from our XP RAS model as rainfall objects into our model group. So our first step is to right click on our model group, go down to import InfoWorks rainfall event from XP RAS XPX file. And we're going to choose that same XPX file. Press open and select OK. Here you can see the imported storms within a new rainfall model group. Before we can commit a network and run a simulation, our network must be validated. Our validation tool will flag any user input values that are inaccurate, inappropriate, or missing. These are judged with a range of priorities. The error messages, which must be fixed, are coded red. We also have warning messages coded yellow. This is indicating that something is possibly not right and should be checked before running a simulation. There are also blue coded messages that give you information that you might want to take note of. So to begin validating the network, we're going to go to network, validate network. We can also do this by selecting the Validate Network icon. Press OK. And in our output window, we'll see a range of messages. The validation tool has alerted the need to include an outfall in our network, which are these red messages here. We're going to do that in the following steps. So XP RAS models do not include outfall nodes and ICM subcatchments won't drain to outfalls. So we need to include an outfall in our network to clear all the validation errors. So what we're going to do is from the new object window, we're going to make sure that we have selected node. We're going to create a new object and we're going to zoom in to the downstream end and create an outfall node. We're going to name the ID outlet and check that we have our system type set to storm. And press OK. You will see once the object has been created, the properties window will now appear. There is also a red inline validation error 
indicating that we need to enter data before we can run the simulation. So in the properties dialog, we're going to enter zero for ground level. The XP RAS models do not include invert levels. However, ICM will start the imported network at grade zero. We can see this by checking the downstream channel. And we have our downstream invert set to zero. Next thing we want to do is connect the downstream end of our imported RAS network to our outlet. To do this, we're going to select link from the drop-down and create a new link object. It is important to draw these from upstream to downstream. So we're going to connect node C10 to the outlet. We're going to change this type to weir. And we're going to make sure it's set to storm. By clicking OK, the suffix will automatically be populated with one. You can see, again in the properties window, there are a few more values that we need to enter before we can successfully validate and run the simulation. So we're going to enter in zero for our crest level and a value of 30 for our width. Now let's check the validation tool and see if there are any errors. So again, validate the network and we can see that the errors are now gone. The last thing we're going to do in workshop three is customize our object property window. In ICM, our users have the ability to customize the object properties to highlight the important input data, group together desired properties, or hide any irrelevant information. So in this workshop, we're going to look at creating a new object properties window for our subcatchments. We're going to open up the properties for subcatchment C10. We can do this by double clicking on the object, or we can use the properties tool in the toolbar. To customize the layout, we're going to go to configuration, layout, and we're going to edit. We can right click in the window to create a new group and we're going to call this rafts. Press enter to complete and we can drag the new group up to the top. Now we're going to group in some properties within our new group. We're going to bring up the subcatchment ID. We're going to bring up our total area, our contributing area. We want to bring up our slope. We want to find our output lag our bypass runoff, and lastly, we want to bring up our land use ID, which is all the way down the bottom. Once we have the desired grouping, we can right click and close to finish editing. But before we do that, we need to make sure we save it, which we can do back in the configuration layout and save locally. Now we can close the editing. If we go back to the properties, we can see we now have our new RAS group up the top and we can hide any of the other properties we don't wish to see. Once we have done that, we're going to commit the changes to the master database. So we right click on our network, commit the changes, and we're going to add in a descriptive title in the comments. Workshop three, XP RAFs, model imported, and outfall added. and select OK.